So I've stopped in the village as I was coming home from dropping my husband to show you this. Um, I'm going to do a series of, of short identification videos on what I think are the most easily identifiable and also the most worthwhile to eat fungi for the autumn. Um, from a distance, because of its size and its colour, I'm pretty certain this is a horse mushroom. Um, but I'm going to show you the most obvious and useful ways to identify it. So first, whenever we identify a fungus, we want to... Sorry, I'm going to need both my hands here. We want to upend it, including the stem base. So you want to pull the whole thing out of the ground. So the stem base is important because there are lots of clues as to what it is. This one's fairly obvious even without it. It's got a nice uh, rounded stem base, but no bulb, no vulva sac, like a, a wobbly egg. Um, the gills on this are pink. They will turn brown as they get older. It's got this kind of rim that hangs down all the way around. And it's got this great big ring, some people call it a skirt, on the bottom that's got I wonder if you can see a kind of textured layer on top of it. Um, so becoming a kind of cogwheel pattern where it's got bits coming out, radial kind of chunks coming out from, from the centre towards the edge. Um, the ring is hanging down. Essentially, this has all of the ID features of a, a horse mushroom. Um, the other one is smell, so I'm going to... Yeah, sort of sweet, a little bit like aniseed. Um, the gills, gill attachment is a really important one. So sometimes they'll be attached by the whole depth of the gill. We call that adnate. Sometimes they'll be running down the stem of the mushroom. We call that decurrent. Um, and there's a few other possibilities. These are not touching the stem at all. Can you see? There's almost like a, a little gap. Um, and we call those free gills. So the gills are free. But yeah, I'm pretty happy that that's a horse mushroom. Um, the nice thing about this family, this genus, is that once you know you're definitely in the agaricus genus, so it's got a kind of pale, it's got a stalk with no uh, bulbous, like properly big marginate bulb or big bulb on the bottom, it's got no vulva sac, it's got a ring on the stem and these pink or sometimes kind of greyish gills that turn brown as they get a little older. Um, we know that that's an agaricus fungus and once you are in that genus there is nothing that's deadly poisonous the way that you test for the ones that can give you a stomach ache it's quite a nasty stomach ache you do want to check um is if the smell is inky um so they call it phenolic in books but it smells quite strongly of ink you would notice um and if you cut it uh in cross section but including the stem base so cut all the way down from top to bottom uh, the ones that will give you a stomach ache, the section xanthodermatae, I've never said it out loud, um, will have a, a bright yellow staining to them where they've been damaged, especially in the stem base. So I'm confident that that is a horse mushroom. I'm going to take that home and have it for breakfast. Uh, oh, like and subscribe and all that sort of thing to the, the YouTube channel. It is quite useful to me when you do, and I will be posting lots more of this sort of video.